In this video, I wanna talk about one of the most underrated spacing style passing concepts. And really what we're gonna be talking about today is a space on the field that you can attack that is really hard to defend, whether it be man coverage or zone coverage. It's been one of the best passing concepts in Madden for years. Now it's gonna be out of the bunch tight end playbook. We are in the run heavy offensive playbook. If you wanna take a look or if you wanna uh, get my bunch tight end offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it is going to get you access access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the bunch tight end formation. We're taking a look today at the play inside switch. If I was running this offense, what I would do um, is have that in my audibles in some way, shape or form. But this play inside switch is very useful and versatile for a lot of different reasons. And the main one is that it has this really nice sharp cutting post route to the outside bunch tight end or outside bunch receiver. Now, if you take a look at this and relate it to, for example, this slot apprentice post, you'll notice that the slot apprentice post is actually a little bit deeper, just slightly. Um, and it's also not quite as sharp in terms of the cut. Um, so it's kind of a unique post route. It's really more so going to be ran almost like an in route. And so the setup that I have for you guys today is we are going to streak the slot receiver. We are then going to in route our tight end. And then I like to either block my running back and run it like this, or you can wheel your running back to create space um, against zone coverage. Now your first read on this play is gonna be this quick throw flat. If they are playing man to man, you can actually throw that quick throw flat. And what that does is it forces them to have to have some type of flat protection over on that side. So a couple different ways that they can accomplish this. But really, if they're just playing in cover zero, uh, which a lot of people are right now, you can just highball this out here, break a tackle, and you see how good this little flat route can be. So now if you think about it from a defensive perspective, they're gonna have to do something uh, to account for that. So one of the things that you might see is maybe they drop a cloud flat over on that side and then they utilize you know, some type of adjustment onto that player. What that does is it now leaves the user responsible for the running back as well as the quick middle of the field. So if we take a look at this here, let's say that the user, you know, jets out to go guard the running back to the right side. Then what we're able to do here is we're able to look to the middle and we can throw our tight end for a quick throw because we have the short and elite ability on him. He's gonna be able to pretty consistently uh, be able to attack man coverage. So as you think this through, um, we're kind of walking them into you know a defensive adjustment such as maybe taking this linebacker and manning him up on the running back. Um, and then this is going to allow them to kind of lurk the middle of the field. The problem with that is now what we did, what we're going to do with this with this play is we are going to have a high low between the in route and the post. So in this example here, they go to the in route. We can throw this post. Got to wait on it, I guess, a little bit longer. Um, you know, but the in route's wide open. Apparently, quarterback spies just lurk everything. Um, you know, but basically, if they if they kind of come over here, almost like a hook curl style zone then you should be able to hit this uh, tight end post. So again, just imagine like they're gonna run with the tight end and then you're going here. So here, no, no, now I'm over here and you see that I've got I've got him wide open. Prax bone sheds are insane. We could throw you know the slot for a touchdown as well. Most people actually in this year's game with just the way that it plays, you're not seeing a lot of press coverage anymore because it's so easy to beat press man over the top. So I'm gonna show you a play here without press. And you'll see that this, uh, the timing on this is a little bit better uh, just in terms of how it's going to work and how the routes are going to run. You see how that sharp cutting in route or uh, post route kind of gets open. And that's really the area of the field um, that is really open a lot. And it's really, uh, again, I talk about this a little bit uh, in some of our ebooks, but if you think about it, Madden in terms of offense, it's kind of like the NBA in the sense that, yes, a lot of people are gonna to try to shoot threes and layups, right? So maybe they're gonna to try to throw a big, deep one play touchdown, or you know maybe they're gonna to try to throw the ball deep on the sideline or short on the sideline. But really the beauty of this play or something like this play is in its ability to be able to be very straightforward, but also in its ability to be able to attack the middle of the field. You're gonna see that a little bit more as your opponent is kind of forced to get out of man coverage. So if they wanna sit in man coverage all day, um, then you're gonna basically play the game off of the tight end. And so like an example like this, you'll see here, I mean, you can even quick throw this flat if they're, if they're not 
and that's why it's hard for them to blitz. Like there's just there's just not um, a lot they can do to stop something like this. Like it would take a lot of adjustments, uh, which is kind of the theme of Madden. But it also takes a really really good user. They have to have a really really good user that is able to lurk the tight end and then back to the post. And so if you see them do that, oftentimes you'll have time to be able to throw this before it gets to the flat because you have the flat route kind of pulling the zone out. So that's the idea with that. And then let's say that they do some zone coverage. So if they want to run some zone on you, um, it's going to be a little bit cleaner of a read. Typically zone defenses are drop eight uh, or drop seven. So what you'll see here, again, there's that little quick in route, super good. If the user doesn't run with the in route, I really recommend throwing the in route. Like typically that user route, even, even if like in this example here, I'm gonna shade down on these vertical hooks, okay? Uh, so we have hard flats and we have shaded down vert hooks on the field. And what you'll see is that good, that vert hook, you see how that vert hook goes to the flat and it leaves this little pocket. I'll show you real quick in replay. But basically what's gonna happen is this uh, flat route is gonna pull the vert hook. So you see there, that's a vert hook. And he's going this direction because we're running this with our bunch the wide side of the field, the vert hook is responsible for defending the hook area of the field from the numbers to the hash mark, right? So he's running with this. As soon as he gets to the numbers, watch, see there, he kind of pulls off of this guy once he gets to the numbers. Nice try in there and look at all of this room. Look at all this space that's now created. And again, the user is isolated in the middle field. Am I gonna guard this or am I gonna guard that? And that's basically, um, I think, just what makes this play so good. Now, let's say for example, I just wanna show this real quick. Um, if they are, like let's say that they are running press man for whatever reason, the beauty of this play is if you watch this streak route, a lot of times he's gonna basically get bumped and then he'll get a light up animation and you see that this is pretty much open, okay? So you can always look at that streak. That streak's really more of a clear out route, but it is a route. So if it's open, you know, of course, you know, throw the route, right? Um, but really that's, that's this play. I mean, it's very simple, but what it does is it high lows them in the middle field. So if they don't go to the tight end, the tight end should be wide open. If they do go to the tight end, then a little high ball will get the ball over the yellow zones and in front of the deep blue zones. Guys, this is a critical concept because it teaches you how to attack the middle of the field, the most underrated, um, area in Madden to attack. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out my entire Bunch Tied In ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon at the link down below.